Ah. Bora que eu nem lembro onde é que parou. Tá vindo aqui, Dev, né? Mais perto. Só tem essa missão. Bolinha vermelha aí, não sei o que é. Morrendo, não come nada. Esse é bem bravo. It's me. Good to see you back, Arthur. Any new leads? I'm working on it. Well, work harder. You need to start pulling your weight more. Oh, don't start. A bo? Porque é fé demais gravando, né? Opa! Oh, oh. Tá tudo vermelho, não sei se tá... Que situação é essa? Tava... Ah, achei que ele ia correr aqui tudo. Eu ia morrer de felicidade. Como é essa lerdeza? I'm too much pulled in whiskey Like waves on the bay of Bisky I began to tumble and roar My face is red like a lobster I fell in hey, Arthur. my poor nobster I watch from my father Where you want? Uncle told me something about a train <sighs> What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Vai, as viagens, velho, que a gente vai fazer. Tá, merda. Bora, né? Não tem o que fazer. Seja aqui, né? Salvar aqui, que eu não sei como é que é o negócio ali. This is your last chance. Son of a bitch. You're dead. Oh, poor John. Happy now, you son of a bitch. What did you do? Falo nada. Como é que eu vou pegar esse negócio? Eu nem li direito da. Não, deixa eu dar um.
Eu tenho que olhar como é que faz as missão. Vou dar uma caçada aqui. O BD tem alguma coisa escrito lá, já que eu não li direito. Calma aqui. Progresso. Um é também Deixa eu ver se é aqui que é, velho. Cara, não deixa eu entrar lá dentro. Não, faz isso não, cara, faz isso não. o
É, roubei, os caras não fez nada e ficou por isso. Yeah. agora mais um lugar sem procurar beleza every time é já cavalo agora né? tablo ali Bye. That ain't far from here. We can get that. Come back any time. I'm always happy e to be able to Agora deu boa. Tá bastando ela que nem louco de jeito nesse jeito. Oi, reto. Tudo. Yeah. Tá vendo onde é que é? Vou pra base, vou matar esse viado e levar. Ia. Coelho o que, velho? Tô tirando.
Call a day there, girl. Yep. I have some Ah, velho. Logo agora que eu peguei o animal. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? I ain't got time for this right now. You'll have to do it yourself. I'll do it alone then. What's happened to you, Arthur? Então, um negócio que não canta aqui, não. Yeah. Opa, animal, hein? Pelo menos vai ficar ali no mapa. Beleza, eu posso pegar depois. Tomara, né? Espera. Drinking again until later. Ooh, hard girl. How you doing? Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. Found a couple of things in town. Touching liquor again. I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. Oh, fuck, uh, I know. oh dear. This is gonna be a long day. Come on. You can't just sit around like this. Yeah, well. I ain't parading around covered in blood trying to look tough. I know you've been through a lot. What is wrong with you? I agree. I'll get some big money and get lost. E onde é que deixa as casas? Ah, 
I woke up, so I must have gone to sleep. What a night. <laughs> Why did I drink all that? <clears throat> nice. That's a decent size. <laughs> Esse cor aí. Let's get you looking good. Não tem como pegar esse, esse cor aí que tá cavalo, velho. Bora lá fazer isso. Good morning, Arthur. Hey. Get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> <sighs> Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? So shit. I got no idea. Oh, my head. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Ele não gosta de nada, né? Meio convencido fácil.
Vai ter pivete ali. O que você está fazendo? Jogando. Algo divertido? Eu acho. Você quer vir fechar comigo? Fechar? Sure, you're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Não pita aqui, da hora. Alright, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well. I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Eu tinha que ter colocado outra tela para ver. Onde devemos estar, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. I see. I see. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Ish. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back.
Foi Deixa eu seguir o menino e vigiar o menino. Something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Foi dessa, né? Bora. Come on, girl. Que massa. Yeah. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well. Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. 
It's a lot of waiting around. It is. I know, kinda. There you are. How you boys get known? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. E aí galera, a gente vai ficando por aqui. Bem, tá descansada.